personal experiences with what we're here for today. Youth violence. In this group, I talked with many of them uh, a few days ago, and um, I didn't want this to be just another talent show, because you go to a talent show all the time. And we tried to do something a little bit different um, that had a purpose and had a meaning. And I spoke with many of them individually and collectively about their lives and what they have gone through. And many of them have experienced, uh, if not family members, some of their best friends either being a victim of violence or um, being the actual uh, accuser of violence. Um, I'm missing something here. My brain's not working pretty much. Um, but I must tell you that this is where it starts. We have to take initiative to keep our kids off the street. And if we don't do it, no one's going to do it for us. We can wait for the local government, the national government, whatever. But the only way to combat this is to get out and be active ourselves. So I expect each one of you to go away from here with something more than just the talent that you see. A perfect example is Eddie, young Eddie, come up here. He's one of the guys that I was talking about. Okay? He's had some issues happen in his life. Not to him personally, but to family members and people we know. And look where he is today. He can be out there doing the same thing. No problem. I talked to him as well. And while he wasn't directly affected, he wasn't also a victim of his environment because he chose to live outside of it, to see that there was so much more than what was immediately around him. And that's what we have to teach our kids. It's not about where you at, but where you can go. And they have to look outside of the music they're here and try to achieve more. And that's why he's here. Because he has struggled to achieve more. He's not he didn't let his surroundings dictate how his life would go. And that's what we have to teach our kids. Do not allow where you are to be the end all of where you're going. Yes?